Okay, this is going to be a Calf Creek or a Bell Point. Now the sides are a little bit narrow. I mean, as I go up with the notches, the danger increases. Ideally, you want the side to be increasing in width as you go deeper, not decreasing like this. Okay? Ideally, you want the width to increase between the base of the notch and the edge, not like this. This makes it very difficult to do it without snapping an ear off. Now, do all do nappers these days do it that way? No. Nope. Most of them do it like this with a high risk of breakage. Why? Well, because we're all like that. Gamblers, risk takers, lazy sometimes. And also, it requires a lot of material. So I'm just going to crunch these in as usual. With me, there's a higher risk of breakage if I punch notch than if I crunch these in. I don't know, were you seeing that? See, I punched it, I mean, I pressed it in that way, not out this way. All right. That one's not stalled, but it's a good place to stop so I can catch up with the other side. And those of you who are thinking this is nice and easy to flake, nope, this side down here is tough. This side is easy to flake up here, but not down here. This one is starting to stall. I gotta make sure I, I widen it out before it's too late. Let me see. I'm gonna try this more narrow, this more narrow flaker before it gets too late. I mean, before it's too late and it stalls unrecoverably. The, uh, the more narrow flake we could get in there and push some flakes out easier by digging into the edge and pushing down. Yeah, like that. See, there's some flakes caught in the, in the bottom there. That's the first sign of stalling. Well, let's see. Yeah, as you can see, this side is much thicker than this side. I could try to thin it out by sending in a flake. That's dicey. I pretty well stalled it already, but if I can send in a thinning flake, I may be able to unstall it. Everything is dicey, 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 dicey. Risky, risky, risky. Because if I thin it now in that area, when I start notching again, it's going to be a risky area to notch into.
Okay, let's see. I've got to think of a better way to do this. So I took a flick next to the notch and it went up and it thinned it down. Maybe I'll be able to release a flake now. Okay, let's see. It did release a little bit of the flake on this side. I might be able to get in there now. Yep. So you saw the procedure, right? Hopefully. I did hit the side here when I did this last pop out. I hit the side. Still not out of the woods, but that's the first step. I gotta get it unstalled. It is not stalled anymore. And this is the more narrow flaker. I pushed in. I didn't put it on top and push down. I pushed in and popped out that, that round flake. Okay, that was very dicey though because it can go either way it can go and intersect the edge on either side but it didn't the notch was deep enough so that the this uh, urchian cone did not intersect with that or that Same tactic, I'm just digging in, pushing the front part of it in and pushing down. But when I'm scratching, I'll put the tool on top and then drag down. All right, let's see if we can continue with the other one. And then I'll do the same thing, I'll just try to catch up on the other side. So pop, scratch, flip, pop, that was kind of crunchy but it was still a pop, scratch, same, same with serrations, same procedure, scratch, flip, oops, pop, Okay, I don't want to go too deep there. It will take off that ear. All right, I've already scratched this. Yeah. Pop. Yeah, I'll get that later. Scratch. Pop, <laughs> pop, pop it out. Yeah, look at the symmetry. I don't know. A lot of bells had expanding stems. I don't know, was I out of frame there?
Oops. I'm in danger of hitting the sides right now because this this is a little bit too wide on the flaker. I could go a little bit deeper, but I'm not going to risk it. Why risk it? Okay. A little bit of damage control. I want to get rid of that step there. Get rid of all these little steps. Just a matter of sharpening it now. Maybe do a little bit of fancy contouring. And just sharpening now. Yeah. yeah I gotta braid more. Let's see if I can do this without having to abrade the heck out of it. A really tough section of rock there. Does having a tough section of rock make it easier to preserve the barbs? Nope, because you have to put more pressure on the barb. See, and the only reason why I'm messing with it is because I'm trying to get rid of that step fracture right there. least too fast let's see let's see let's see the other solution is to use the indirect flaker sharpen the tip a little bit more and use indirect flakes Direct percussion on the edge to get these flakes to travel without crushing the platform. There we go. How do you guys like working with raw stone? I only work with it if I absolutely have to. A lot of guys want raw stone for sale. They don't want the, too much of the heat treat. suppose because it's more durable if you use it, if you plan on using it for a tool. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to have to switch over to indirect percussion. I'm not getting the long flakes that I want. Let's see, what time do I have? 15?
So this is a delicate operation, but it doesn't take too much to overcome the learning curve. You go from really hitting it really hard to doing these delicate flakes. You still got to hit hard, but it's not nearly as edge aggressive. There we go. Yeah, I cannot get that with pressure. Switching sides, I'm doing random flaking. Wherever I see an opportunity to remove a thick spot. That's the thing, you don't know you don't know if you are abraded enough until you actually strike it. Yeah, I did not abrade enough. Okay, a little bit better. bit better. I think it's starting to come together. All right. It's going to have a little bit of a concave edge to it, but oh well. Thinning the edge so it can be sharpened. If it was already sharp, I wouldn't be messing with it too much. But it's it's kind of dull right now from all the abrading. And I'm gonna have to abrade it more to get rid of some of that mess. I thought it was going to do it. I thought it was. And you thought these are pressure flakes, huh? On the real ones. Yeah. No, I'm not saying that that they were doing those with percussion. I'm just teasing you. But they could have been. Okay, so still Still with the steppiness, can't get away from it. I 
I might be able to get I might be able to get that out I might be able to it in a minute all right so I thin down that edge there still got a little bit to go on this edge just I'm sharpening it and thinning it yes you can you can sharpen with percussion I have one chance to send a, a damage control flake into that area, so let me see. First I'll see if I can pick it out. If I can't, if I can't pick it out, I'll run the flake. And then call it good. Okay. Yeah, it's not getting under it. That's as sharp as it can get, hopefully. There it goes. So we can get the other ones. Alrighty. Just a lot of metal marks, but oh well. Sometimes it'll you can get them out by rubbing with another flake. Sometimes. It's probably an easier way to get rid of that just with a chemical wash. It'll convert that into a rust color. It won't be shiny. All right. So I'm just going to finish up with pressure and then call it good. I was going to zoom in, but I need to have a, an overall view. Yes, I do use the viewfinder sometimes to to get situated, and I don't want to have to go like this to see where I'm at as far as the proportions on the point. So I zoomed it out a little bit. Hopefully you can still see the little minute pecking that I'm doing on the edge. Mostly downward. Now these little steps, they didn't, they didn't sweat those. They didn't, they didn't mind those on the real ones. But I'm gonna see if I can get that one out. Well, I got part of it. Okay, looks a little bit better.
just picking at the dull spots. It's pretty much the whole edge is dull. So I'm pretty much picking the whole edge. Well, up here is not too bad, but right where I was abrading to do the indirect percussion on the lower part, some big dull spots there. Yeah, I can't be taking away the edge like that. Even though it would look cool with a needle tip, I don't think these had needle tips. So I can't be pressing too hard and wiping out too much of the edge. Although a lot of these did have concave sides. I don't think they had needle tips. They're not like the bandies. I don't think. Could be wrong. Bells and Calf Creeks might have needle tips sometimes. I can't remember. All right. I wish I could run a flake and clear that all out, but it's too thin. You know, I could run a flake from here into that area and maybe clear some of that out. Or a flake from here. But I won't. It's good enough. I saw a dull spot on the tip. Okay, so there you go. That's it. Just a little bell point or a calf creek. Kind of translucent. I can go deeper. These notches are not stalled. I could have gone deeper, but on the real ones, I think they they didn't stall them, All right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I can continue if I wanted on that, but too risky. All right, there you go.